All right, folks, so what I wanted to do is offer you some quick tips that you can do to possibly save you thousands. A lot of times what's, what I'm seeing with a lot of our customers is they find a leak, they go through all the reconstruction, they seal everything back up, but then the rain comes and it leaks again. So here is one tip that I like to offer that uh, we like practicing here at the Twin Home Experts. The test that we did, which I'll show you in this video. What we've done is uh, we've created a balloon in the area that we feel has the breach. What we've done is uh, put the vacuum hose in here. We've put a little filter rag. This What this does is it helps alleviate blowing this little balloon containment out. This allows it to breathe. Also, we don't get a bunch of smoke coming out. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the vacuum on and we'll show you kind of what, what it looks like. It's putting pressure on all of this. So let's go ahead now and we'll put some smoke in here and inject it into this uh, area where we feel the, the hole is at, causing the water leak in the bathroom. All right, folks, so we've uh, created a balloon. Folks, so this is the bathroom that the patio or deck is leaking through. So as you can see, we've built a containment and uh, we've opened up the ceiling to verify where the water's coming in at. So let's go ahead and step in. We determine that the leak is actually coming from this rail that mounts on top of this tile deck here. Now, if you step over here, this was the main issue. We found a breach. So we did a smoke test as well as a hydrostatic water test. We triple confirmed that this is the area where we're getting the most water. We have rains coming in the forecast in the next three to four days. So instead of jumping to conclusions, what we've done is we've sealed the breach off and what we're gonna do is allow the rains to come. Now, if we don't get any more water damage into the bathroom, then we know for sure that this is the area that caused the damage. If we get more leaks coming in, that's gonna help us, but also we're gonna have to come back and then reevaluate stucco, the possible uh, tile here, but so far we're pretty confident that this is the area. So again, the tip is allow the rains to come through, seal off the area that you find that's leaking, allow the rains to come in and uh, verify that you don't have any more leaks before you do the reconstruction. Anyhow folks, hopefully this helped give you a quick tip on rain leak detection for your patio or your deck. As always, thanks for watching.